Oh. So it originally broke from Deadline that they parted ways. Disney Tell and, us who and exactly. Sony. Yeah, uh, so Kevin Sony. Kevin Feige walks. Um, they said that they couldn't. It couldn't come down to a money producer 50-50 yeah, It was said that Disney split. wanted fifty fifty opposed Disney, to like the f- yeah, it was like five percent or something. They get five percent of the first gross ticket sales. Right. So guys, right. we're talking about Spider Man. Right? Spider Man. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, yes. that's that's where it all you know. Yeah. These are two well, parents just, fighting for custody of the kid. Right. Right. So so deadline reports first that they're walking away. Then I see a number of like we have. Really Deadline good friends and sources. That di- no, that Disney and Marvel and Sony have part. They they're not doing this anymore. They're not going to uh, have Spider Man in their movies or share Spider Man. Then we have, <clears throat> excuse me, we have IO Nine updating that says that no, this isn't this isn't a done deal. That, that they're still negotiating. It's over money. So don't worry about it. Real quick. Then Sony releases a statement via THR saying. Basically blaming everything on Disney, saying Kevin Feige wanted too much, and he's also really busy with the MCU now. He's got X-Men coming in. He's got Fantastic Four. He can't give the time to Sony that owns it, right? And so that's the spin. Then everybody's like, that's a spin. Right now, everybody's looking at Sony as the one that let Disney go, but you got to look at both sides here. Disney is asking for a lot. And they already own the rights to to the Marvel brand of Spider-Man, toys, comics, yeah. all that, right? So they wanted more because if you look, Spider-Man Far From Home just became the, the highest grossing movie in Sony's Over history. Over a billion dollars. 1. 1. 1. History. 1.109 billion beat out Skyfall. Yeah, and you can argue that that's because of the creative partnership between Disney who said this is how you do Spider-Man. And now Sony with Venom coming in and there was a report in Deadline that was then removed as this thing updated that they were talking that Kevin Feige was also consulting on Venom. So there was there was a lot going on there but I think at the end of the day Sony just couldn't get behind how much Disney wanted for this partnership. So, so. I've heard, I'm sorry, go ahead Rox. Just to be uh, even a little clearer, then correct me if I'm wrong. So what the actual dispute seems to be is that they were get Disney was getting 5% of these Spider-Man movies. And the, the, at the initial profit, they were getting 5% of that. The, yeah. And what they were asking for was 10 times more than that. And then they decided that they were going to – neither could come to an agreement. They couldn't pick that number, and then they both walked away. It's over money. That's it. It's over money. It's a 50 – they wanted a 50-50 share at one point. At one point, Sony would make the movie, get all the profits for yep. it, and that 5% of the ownership of the Spider-Man character – would then they wouldn't the original deal was Sony and Disney would not double dip into the prop like they could use Spider Man and Avengers and right. Sony would see nothing. Sony would then make a Spider Man movie and Disney wouldn't see uh, it, see any money off of the movie and what it made in theaters aside from that five percent. But they that get talking about. But they but have, they, the but they have yeah. all the merch. Mm-hmm. So but he, they have all the merch. So here's part. the big issue I have with all this. Look at the previous five Spider Man movies. None of them grossed what this ter- current inc- uh, incarnation of Spider-Man has grossed. The reason Far From Home hit $1.109 billion was because it was the follow-up to Endgame. Avengers yeah. Endgame. Yeah. Well, the whole storyline was based off The that. whole storyline is based off that. Until some Marvel Studios got involved with Spider-Man, with Sony, no one was caring about where this character was going. We were just going, oh my God, here comes another reboot. So... I understand what people saying Disney is greedy, but Disney is saying, hey, we're going to co-finance this. Babe, let's co let's 50-50 split this because it's benefiting both of us in the long run. And actually, it's benefiting Sony, too, because people saw Venom because there was rumors Tom Holland was in right. it. And I'll tell you the truth. Tom Holland did film a scene for Venom. I found this out. Sony, I mean, Marvel saw the movie and saw that it was like, take him out. Take the scene out. So Tom Holland did... Peter Parker was in Venom, not Spider Man. Peter Parker. What's making well, you say that? I, for, well, oh, I got sources on behind it. I can, I can tell you that John Schnepp told me the same Ed, thing. Yep. Um, a, a while, he yeah. even said it so on on air at one point that he knew someone that to Holland had shot something and they were gonna they were gonna it was gonna be in the movie and then when it didn't happen I was like oh I guess that, that never happened but then it yeah. just looked like yeah they saw it, they pulled it out. The, but they pulled it but the the other this Disney is, this pulled is, it yeah. yeah Disney pulled it this was my well, from reading it from reading it this was where I thought if they're sitting down together and Disney says hey we're gonna go in and we're gonna ask for 50% I don't know if we're gonna get it but we're gonna ask for 50 we're gonna try it from what I heard and what it seems in the report is that Sony didn't even come back, and that was the yeah. thing. Sony didn't even have a counter off. Well, right. that that it was so. It, it's to me that's where I say Sony. What are you doing? Because it's it's one because if you come back and say, well, no, we're not going to give you fifty. Let's do thirty, 
or this, or let's even do 20 and do this, but let's talk about it. But they didn't. They said, nope, we're out. You're keeping five and fuck off. And that, mm-hmm. to me, that's, that is Sony's fault because they didn't have the conversation. Now, it's a different conversation if they sit down and Disney says, nope, 50 or out. Mm-hmm. Then Disney's the dicks because but you, you're allowed to negotiate as a company because the thing is for what Disney's working – and Disney, you can look at it as, as, uh, as ruthless in this aspect because you know that they said, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make all these movies so dependent – on the MCU, that if they don't take our deal at the end, it's going to screw them with the fans. It's going to screw them with story. And they put Mar- Marvel and Disney put them in this position as, and it's a ruthless business with what they did. But Sony also took it because they were in that spot. If their movie didn't make money, they were going to lose it. And also, did- there's two I- movies on deck. Like we know, there's one more in the initial deal. That's yeah. that's the update on Deadline. Yep. They are developing two Spider-Man mm-hmm. movies. And right now, the, John Watts, the director, and Tom Holland, I think Tom Holland is signed for one of them. But he's, signed he's signed for the, ne- so, signed for for the, next, the next Spider-Man oh, okay. movie. The, the next one. one, that's right. But John Watts isn't. But Deadline is saying that they're developing it with him in mind to, yep. to stay on. Yep. Now, whether or not there's this thing going on that you're talking about here, Disney might go, no, nope, John Watts, I want you – to stay in the MCU and direct this movie now. Mm-hmm. There is talk about that. There's a lot going on. This thing is updating daily, but I think what happened, Disney leaked this to a uh, deadline. Yeah. This thing seems like yeah. a leak. That it comes out, yeah. let's get the They knew they were going to get public support. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, Sony's spin on it was a spin. No, Kevin Feige walked away. It's been misrepresented by by the chatter out there because of this report. And so Deadline is coming and, and updating the thing going, we stand by So it's like a calculated move by Disney and, I think and it was Marvel. Disney. I'm yeah. seeing very split support on the internet, to be honest. I'm seeing I very split I'm, support. I, yeah, and, it, yeah. and for me, per, the, the biggest loser in all of this is definitely us. The audience. Uh, 100%. Uh, yeah. By yep. far and away, yep. the biggest loser is going to be us. I think that whether you view Disney as the dicks or Sony as the dicks, this was a lose, lose, the lose. Mm-hmm. Uh, the fans being the biggest losers, probably Sony being the be- second biggest losers and Disney being the third. But this is not a win for Disney. No, no, by not any at all. means. Nobody's yeah, that's, winning that's what in people this say. Situation. People are like, oh, look at all the support for Disney. They're being greedy. No, they're both dicks. The- it's just <laughs> a question of when you look at what Sony needed to do to keep this and keep this franchise going, they forgot that you not included here. Everyone hates the last, the Amazing Spider-Man too. Everybody, and, and, and it's it's you're literally the only person that likes I that know. movie. And, I, I haven't found another one. Right, for me. And <laughs> they're they're probably like fifteen. But the the point is is that that they were not it, when Pascal was there and it, they didn't know how to crack it. Mm-hmm. And the reason why it was able to work was because they were able to infuse it, like Jay said, to, to blend it into what happened with Avengers. Because they set up this thing with Happy, they set up this thing with Nick Fury, they set up all this stuff that was supposed to play in to the movies and the. And, and what are they going to do? You're not going to have uh, Iron Man even mentioned ever again. It's, it's right. so. It's well, so. Listen to this. They they ended this. I mean, it's not really a spoiler, but there's a cliffhanger in the Spider-Man universe now that is dependent on the MCU. Yeah, it's very much that goes away. Oh, right. Yeah, that goes movie. away. Yeah. 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 So, and not only that, we would probably reboot right. again. Also, there's that, and then they just got someone else back that was a lot of fun. So too. also yeah. they Sony. Now here's a big issue behind Sony. Because Sony has the rights to so many Spider-Man characters, they have the rights to Venom, which they're doing. So you're getting Venom, Carnage, and whatever symbiotes. Right. And Feige get, was supposed to get involved more in Venom, all, Venom we, too. Yes, we're getting was... Morbius next year with Jared Leto. They also are talking about doing Craven the Hunter, which sucks because Craven the Hunter could have hunted. He can hunt Spider-Man, but you can still put him. You could have put him in the MCU. Yeah. So now, because of the success of this Spider-Man. Sony is like, well, we do not need Disney going forward. You need the storyline that you've built going forward right. because that's what's helped your Spider-Man story grow. Yeah, and to jump back on what I was saying, I think that the biggest— You look confused. Or... Uh, just with the Morbius with Jared Leto. Oh, yeah. Mor- Jared Leto is Michael Morbius. He is currently filming in London with Tyrese, yeah, Morbius, Jared Leto, yeah, uh, Vampire. Uh, yeah, but what, are you, what is that making you— f- how is that playing into this for you? So no, no, that's another property of Marvel's that's in the Spider-Man universe that Sony owns. But this is, but it's still a go because it's, it's, it's still it's happening. Right. Right. Okay. It's right now. So you're not saying it's going to stop. You're no, no, just no, no, it's, no, it's just not going to connect. It's just not going to connect at the end right. of the game. Zero connections well, now. So just jumping back into what I was saying before, that that's where I say like this should have gone on longer. 
It yes, should have. Like, Sony should have sat down and like because it sounds they, like it was one hour long. That's what I mean. Yeah. They have to. Re, they have to sit. They have to say them so they can't. They, they're being a bit arrogant in the fact that when you look at it, and you go, "Well, no, we don't need you anymore. We were happy with the deal that we had." People were like, "Oh, Disney didn't need to ask for anything more." No. Disney could have asked for any more because they, it's their story, it's their universe that helped breathe it back. And I get right now there's a there's a somebody making a gif a gif with a hashtag Marvel Disney Shield on it. I don't it give a it's, fuck. But it's and no, 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 no. And I know I'm just saying that because yeah. people are going to think because we're saying it like that, and that's not the case. No, this I'm, is a I business think, negotiation. I think fifty fifty is too much. I think fifty fifty is and too much. And I think they were is. asking for too much. I think Disney yeah, was absolutely. absolutely. I think I agree. they knew they were asking. For I think too they much. knew. But yeah. That's the whole point of negotiating. You go in, you ask high, and then you and then it comes down, and it's. A little lower, and then you settle where you think it's. It's, but you can't just say no five percent. That's it. I'm out. Without even talking to it. When, when it's different. If if Sony came up with everything, Marvel really didn't have much to do with it, and, and Disney didn't have much mm-hmm. to do with it, and they didn't use their marketing machine, and they didn't use the MCU to help fuel, uh, put a little more gas in the tank. If they didn't use any of that stuff. No, what did you guys do? You're keeping the five that we gave you. You put a couple things in here and there, and no, no, thank you. This is different. This is the, and this has doesn't matter who it is. The 50-50 is way too much, but you shouldn't have negotiated more. Either way, you are the you made the best point here too. The fans are the are the losers. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Because this is going to negatively affect both franchises. Big. And it, with it is, yes, probably Sony's more, but Marvel's. I mean, I everybody wanted to see what yeah. was happening. Well, there. I think the the only caveat for Marvel ha- on the plus side is we know their phase four unless they're announcing something else at D23 going in phase four. Oh boy. Their yes. phase four has nothing to do with Spider-Man as of now. Right, but everybody's been now. talking about phase five as and, well. But that's what I was about to bring up. Right. Phase five is going to be the big thing because that's when the next that's when the next Spider-Man movie should be announced to be coming in that in that yeah. realm in that phase five. How many questions are going to be asked about Spider-Man during the to press, <laughs> on the press line and stuff to get you know, Feige? I, I think they're going to do it early and get it out the way because they already know. Unless this whole deal changes, unless this changes before the end well, of this the weekend, question. Be, before this weekend, yeah. unless this changes before Friday. Yeah. Well, there's the next question. Will is this the final straw? Will 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 the next movie, in your in your opinion, will this next movie be made without the MCU, or will they find a solution here because of the backlash, because of everything? Will they find a solution, and will they come to a term? What they, do you say? Uh, there's some rumors happening already with people we know in this business that there is something happening at Sony with Tom Rothman that he is not working well with Feige. with with Feige. Okay. So. Uh, I still think that there could be a light at the end of the tunnel and that this is going to work out. Um, I think because of this fan backlash, I think it probably will work out. I, I'm, I'm going to go with that it will work out. Yeah, it has to. You can't have this big of a backlash for either company. Again, people, Disney, Disney's corporate greed, because with, especially with everything they've been doing, and Sony. Sony's dumb as hell. The fans are too much. And like Roxy has said, it's a lose for everybody. Okay, clearly I don't know, uh, and I'm 51% leaning in this direction, but I kind of don't think it's going to work. You don't think it's going to work? I think greed, greed and money is going to mm-hmm. see it going there. It's, too. A, good, it's, yeah. a, it's a stance that I, I – you're probably right. I'm going to be it's on the bummer. side of these guys where I think it's going to – I think you're right. But I'm still <laughs> going to say I think it works out because – not just because of the backlash, because even though – because Disney Disney is one of those things to – yeah, they're, they're already looked upon as greedy. They're already looked yeah. upon as, you know, by people who don't like them in, in general. They're already looked upon. They, they can come back from that. If Sony puts out a Spider-Man movie that stinks again, the fans are going to uh, it. Now, yeah. but this is the, the flip side of that. If Sony leaves MCU and then puts out a kick-ass Spider-Man movie, that's like, yeah, we didn't that, need them. And then the fans go, well, fuck you. Disney, we didn't need you either. Well, that's yeah. how people felt about Venom because Venom did $800 million, But again, I think Venom did $800 million off the you know belief that possibly Spider-Man would show up. Yeah. It had a – for sure. But I think that a lot of people also liked that throw. I did not like that movie, but a lot of people thought it was, a, it was a throwback to like the 90s no, kind it was, of superhero movie. It was, a, it was movie, definitely sure. a 90s movie. It's yeah. just the amount of time that we've seen people bite their nose to spite their face in this industry is too many for me to think that that's not what's going to happen. No, I know, but it's it's just it's one of those things where if you if you're Sony, if you look at it and you say, "Look, let's get back, let's get back to the table. Let's go talk to, and see what we can come up with because I think that they can be the ones that come out looking better if they go back to that table and Marvel's still asking for too much because again, 50 is too much. It really is. It's mm-hmm. too much. I and think it, it's if they go, 15. 
more realistically, 20. Uh, I'd say 20, what? 25 is probably, depending on, because they already get merch. They already yeah. get all the merch. Well, so we got to make sure the, n- the number, we're not talking about 25% off the first gross. We're talking about 25% as far as co-financing. Right. So that's the 50-50. That's the, they're talking about the co-financing, right. which, of course, you'll get on the back end in the gross tickets. They're talking about when they produce this movie together, split it down the middle. Now, that's a whole different thing than everybody just saying the gross of the tickets because right. that's the 5%. Because yeah, Disney's putting in the money anyway. Right. They're right. putting in the money regardless. I think that's the part we can say, okay, let's do this 60, 40, 70, right. 30. I can see that because, again, this is a Sony movie. Right. 70% of the finances should be you, yeah. 30% us. I don't, or, I, I don't know what happened 60, behind. 60, 40, however you want to look at it. I just don't know have behind the closed doors, and we, I guess we'll yeah, never know. Fair, but yeah, very it, fair. But it's because if, if, the, if the scenario was – I'm sitting down and I'm ready to make a deal. And I go, okay, here, this is what we want. And the guy across from me or the woman across from me goes, nah, fuck off. We don't want to hear anything more that you're saying. We're out. Mm. I'm going to go, wait, well, that's it? We're not right. talking anymore? But if the conversation was like, we're staying strong on this 50, we're not moving past this 50, what say you? And then the person leaves, then I'm the dick. Yeah. Then I'm right. the one who's, who's being a, a shit negotiator. So we don't really know. What Thank do you, you Adam. What do you guys think about the fact, though, because I know you guys mentioned that maybe Disney leaked this to deadline. Why would they have done that right before D23? Negotiation tactics. It's it's to get it, – yeah, it's negotiations. It's, it's to get – it's – because now more eyes will be on D23 to find out, will they say anything about yeah, this right. movie? It, it, it brings more – because the first thing I thought of is – Who's going to ask them questions about this? Right. On, on, there's, there's, it was very similar to what happened during that Marvel, um, I think it was 2015. It may have been the end of 2015 where they did the thing on Hollywood Boulevard when they did right, the slate. Announced Black Panther yeah. and Civil All of that. War. And- there was questions about Spider-Man. This was right before the deal was announced with Spider-Man. And they were, they were, they were asking questions about Spider-Man back then. And Feige at that point goes, I don't see it happening. And right. then I like, think two months later they announced that it was so happening. you guys don't think there's any chance that Sony actually released this? Of course, there's a chance to yeah. try to. I mean, either or. Well, yeah. in, in I, think it, I think it, it just put. I think that you're. If you did, it, it wasn't smart. Nothing moves, smart. But for that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. This, Sony's coming to this now at an entirely different place than before because they have an Oscar with Into the Spider Verse and they have Venom. So I think they came to the table going, "Well, we're not too shabby, you know. Right. I, like, let's do this." So if it's Disney coming and going, "No, 50, and they walk away, I get that. Yeah, we don't and, know, but. I Closed doors is a whole e- different story. Either way, the, D- Disney's being greedy. Sony's being dumb. <laughs> so they're both. They're both. They both need to get the shit together, sit down, and try to figure it out. Um, because we want to see these movies continue the way that they have been on both sides. Yeah. So it's like the the one thing you say to Disney is that they're they've made. All five of their movies, or five or six of their movies, are already made a billion dollars, right? It's like scale back a little bit, so so the fans can get this Spider Man movie. And for and for five Sony, or six, what is it like seven or what, nine? Whatever, so many, like, what, whatever it is, it's yeah. like it's like it's like for this one, you know what? Take the hit on the deal if you can. Maybe it doesn't make you the smartest businessman, but take the hit on take the hit on the deal for the it fans. Actually, does make Show, you sm- it actually does make because, you smart because the fans because the fans will then well, get the fans will be you. behind you because yeah. if, if Disney was the one that said you know we're gonna we're gonna pull back here because we want this to happen for the fans, yeah, or the opposite. We we said we're going to give Disney a little bit more because we want this for the fans and didn't just do it for the corporate greed on both sides. It's both corporate greed on both sides. Both yeah. Sony and Marvel uh, and Disney are doing the corporate greed stuff, and we are the ones being hit because we want to see the continuation right. of this story.